I can hear that there's a lot of uh, either photographers or uh, content creators. What we basically got is two uh, separate products. One is a uh, asset library, which uh, manages stores assets, and you can do a lot of the things that you would expect from a, an asset library. And these are all suited for um, media. Uh, it can handle the uh, standard documents and everything, uh, but as you'll see, we have a lot of tools that are specifically designed for uh, enhancing the experience for people who are, who are dealing with media. Our second pro uh, product is Tactic Project. Now, what that's used for is to manage creating, altering, publishing uh, any type of content. And so it falls a little bit in line with uh, project management, but uh, as you go through, we'll see that uh, it allows you to, uh, to organize the workflows of how you, you manage the content on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, really, we'll start off with Tactic Project because I think this will be a good place and then we can go on to the, the actual library itself. Um, the, the project is uh, basically manages things by creating jobs, and these jobs are uh, units of, of uh, projects that people might have. They might have requests that come in and then you would go and perform these jobs. This is for, for example, a uh, video publish job. And I'm just going to call it arbitrarily. I have a start date. We can start it off pretty simply, but of importance here and one of the key differentiators of, of Tactic is the ability to set a workflow for a particular job. And so um, as you can see, you can have any number of workflows, but I'm just going to choose a YouTube publish right here. And you can see visually what that means. Um, and I'm going to just take you through this job and, uh, and go to the various steps and how Tactic uh, helps you and, and, and organizes everything for you in relation to this workflow. Just bear in mind, like other jobs can be completely different. So we can have a, for instance, a blog post. They would go through various steps. So you can create your own workflows. You aren't constrained to the, some, either the simplicity of these or you can create much more complex ones, which we can get into later. But for now, I'm going to choose the uh, YouTube Publish. This one has four basic steps, ingest or uh, uh, gathering of sources, an editing mode where you create the actual content, an approval step, and uh, in this case, it publishes to two YouTube channels at the approval. So I'll, I'll show you that. But what I'm going to quickly do is just create this job and it opens up into a view of the job. We can see right here clearly what the workflow is this job is, and we can also see that three tasks were automatically created that were associated with these particular, this particular workflow. Now you can go into here and basically, I'm just going to assign it to people. And so I'll just assign it to uh, various users that, uh, that would go and work on this uh, particular job. So once they're signed, uh, they're set and waiting, and one of the things that we want to do is in, we'll be in the ingest process, and I'm going to quickly go right now and ingest some files into this particular te process, the ingest process. So all the files are broken up to the specific process that, uh, or task that, uh, that is worked on by the person. So I can go in, actually I'm going to go in a different way here, and I'm just going to drag these files in. Now these can be Files, they can be uh, movie files, they can be documents, they can be uh, sequences of frames, if, for example. And as you can see, it's going to be ingested into, the, uh, into this particular ingest process. And so what will happen here is uh, now that the files, they will appear now in, under the assets. And so we can see that now we have those three files that I ingested into what's the ingest process. And so what I would do now is say, okay, I'm complete this. Job And so when this is completed, what's going to happen is uh, the person who worked on this, is, it, it fires off a completion, and then the person that's next in line, it will automatically, as you see, it just jumped there, it got set to pending. And so this is how the workflow knows the dependencies up here, that one is finished, it automatically knows that the next person has to work on it. So now in this case, Yukino here is the artist or a designer or some content person. And in particular, they're going to be creating, uh, so in your case, you might have in, ingested a bunch of photographs and then somebody's going to either select them or work on them. And in this case, I'm going to demo an integration into Photoshop. So I've got Photoshop here and we've got a tactic project extension, which is built right into, right into Photoshop. So an artist or designer does not need to actually 
go to the web browser to do their work. They can do a lot of it into the integration right here. So I can go directly here and look at all my tasks. And in this particular case, I can go and see my tasks, but I can go, I know that they were ingested in, so here are the assets that I just ingested. And so seeing these, I can go just directly in and open it directly from. Now this is all internet-based, so the files are not local. This was out from the server somewhere and opened up in Photoshop. So what this does is that it relieves the user of having to go and look through endless files and they'll know if someone has prepared the task for them, they'll know exactly which files to open. I can go quickly in here and load in, say, a, um, uh, a lens flare. Just for the sake of completion, I'll just put this in here and copy it and produce. I'm using lens flares, but of course it can be any number of source uh, images and things. So. So here we put a, a lens flare. Now let's say I'm right here and I'm working and I go, oh, I, you know what, I need to search for uh, another asset that wasn't in here. I can quickly go up to this button right here and just search for assets. And I want to get another lens flare uh, and I can look that up. And so this goes, it goes to our asset library and looks up files and I can see a whole list of my lens flares. And I said, okay, you know what, this is actually the one I want right here. And so now, having a warning this one, I can see the size and everything, and I go, okay, yeah. And now I open that up, again, pick it in, and go to, go to my source here and put it in. And again, I'm just going to blend this in just so we can see that there's actually a different on this image. So let me just do that here. And so now I've added this. Now this is my end result. And now what I want to do is I want to check this in. Uh, I can save this as something. You can name it whatever you want. And you can put any number of files here, you can save them. And so now I'm going to save them. I'm going to go back to my task here that I was working on. You know, when I was in the edit here, I didn't have any uh, files. So now what I want to do is I want to just go in and check in this file. And so what this will do is it will upload it up to the server. It's now updated and we can see that this file is there. So anybody who has, this is now up in the server. I can go look right here and you'll see that the file is actually located. And you'll see what we're kind of doing here. So what we've got right now here is we've got the three files that were originally uploaded. And then I created a lens flare and I've got this, this uploaded. So you can see there's a total integration into Photoshop. Now having finished this, I can go in and I can add in notes. So I'll add in uh, some lens flares. And uh, we can put a, a attachments here, but right now I'm just going to Let's see, it appeared right there. And so now I have a note here. And from here, I can go in and say, I'm complete. And what this does is essentially, this will put it off uh, uh, this person's list, and uh, she's finished. Now, what this does, it updates, as you can see right now, it automatically updated to complete, and it put the approval to pending. So this person who is the boss is going to approve, uh, it could be a boss or a reviewer or a client, and they're going to go in and they're going to be able to see so it appears automatically here. Now they can go and look, they have a very easy list to see what they need to approve and they can uh, add some notes and in particular they can uh, go in and uh, look at the details for instance and see what's happened on the job if they need to look at more detail and, and, and particular parts, whoops that's not actually, sorry it's this job. And so they, they can go in and, for example, from here or from the other uh, interface, they can go and add some notes and, and say, I need to send a note. And so add some more lens flares. Sorry about the lens flares. Uh, <laughs> but it gets the point across. And, of course, I can uh, attach files here and uh, say particular add what a file, and then I add a note here. And I'm sending this back to the process, oh, to the, the this. And what I'm going to do is I can do it either here, I can reject it, or I can go back here and say it's not approved. And so what this does is this highlights to the designer artist that there is actually uh, a problem. Now again, she doesn't have to go to, she can just look at my task and she can see that this task is now in revise. And she can go look in and say, okay, exactly what's wrong here and then see this, and then see, oh, okay, this is the problem. So I, I think I have an example here on this uh, task right here. 
where we would uh, have a markup and then they could and, uh, and show the person exactly what needs to be done. So at any rate, we, this is a, a Photoshop. Of course, we can go into After Effects and, and do the same thing and load in footage, for example, and you can see that it loaded directly into here and have this integration too. And then we can go and save this and upload this in the same way. And in this case, you would produce a video. Now, I'm not going to produce a whole video. Uh, I'm not really an editor. So I'm going to just go in and, and ingest here a video that was supposedly produced by this process, uh, but I'm just going to do that manually right now. And so this would be a final video, and this would go uploaded. Now, once this is uploaded, we can go back here and we can see what's going on here. So now I've got a bunch of files. I can see pretty much everything that's going on in here, all the files that are associated with it, and in particular, the After Effects and the Edit. And so the approver could go and actually approve this at this point. And I'm just going to do this manually. Just And it's connected here to two YouTube nodes. But what happens is that these get uploaded automatically to the... Uh, YouTube. And so you can see I just published both of these videos to, uh, to YouTube. I can go in and, uh, and so here's the actual video. Yeah, so here. So you can see a whole bunch of keywords that were associated with this particular asset and job were sent up and now you can start editing and putting extra things. If there had been a description in, the, uh, in there, I, it would have gone in as well. So the interesting thing about this is that the, per the people here are working on the, uh, on the uh, media don't need to know the passwords. These are all stored in, back in, in, in the system, and they can just um, uh, have these things published, and you can set when you want them published. So we can go in here, and uh, uh, at this point, in this uh, one, only when it's approved can it get published. Now the workflow, uh, here, I'll go look at these workflows, and you can see how they're managed. And so, for example, um, from this YouTube publish, we can see this is it. Now I can go in if I want, and I can say, well, you know what, I'm going to put another approval here. And so we have many different nodes that you can use, or, or processes types, that you can go in and say, okay, I'm going to put another approval in here, and this for, is going to, and we're going to put this, and I'm going to go put this to a, uh, um, a WordPress site, for example. And so now I have a separate approval stream for this same media that can get automatically published to a WordPress site. And so what you can do is you can build these arbitrary uh, processes in place um, and have, make sure that things go in the, right, uh, in the right place. So for example, I can just make this a little bit more complicated by going in and doing a, uh, a convert. And so now this, or actually I'd rather have a, uh, a video convert. And so what this does is you can see that I can resize, I can do bit rates, I can change them, and then before it actually goes out, it will go through an automated process, change the media, and then send it up upstream. And so uh, you can start off with very simple um, manual tasks that are uh, for these, uh, uh, for these uh, workflows, and then of course you can have arbitrarily complex ones. You can also see that um, they can be repurposed to all sorts of different things. You can have, uh, um, and just as an example, we can have, you can have any number of processes and, and name them as you want. So they can manage a wide variety of different types of, uh, of jobs that you would have available. And then as soon as you created a workflow, you can create a job that goes through that workflow.